Autonomous has three bots. Make a move forward. They cross that line. Get five points apiece. 15-15 right now is that they can deliver a gear. Get it into the first rotor. They'll be able to gain another 60 points. Right now, it doesn't look like it is. 15 to 15, they're tied coming out of Autonomous. S 3694, the Warbots headed to the airship to deliver a gear. They've got the center rotor started for the Red Alliance, 40 points. They've got one gear in their number two rotor gear set. They need one more to get that one started as the Blue Alliance now starts their center rotor for 40 points. They've got the second gear in their possession. They start their second rotor turning as does the Red Alliance. 95 to 95 with 100 seconds left to go in the match. 67.50, the pack attack release. 100 fuel elements out on the field from the side hoppers. As we hear the chant going, Red Robotics in the stands, 54.82 for the Blue Alliance rushes through the fuel elements, heads across the field. They're now at the Red Airship, 41.89. The Chargers headed down to the retrieval zone, trying to get one of those gears. The Red Alliance needs three more gears in their gear set to start their third rotor. The Blue Alliance needs two. S4189 motors down the field, bypassing 5482, but they collide right there in the middle. 6750 trying to stop 5482 from getting down to their airship. They delayed them just enough. S6750 comes down and bounces off the rail. 5482 trying to stop. Trying to deliver a gear as 6750. Trying to hinder their progress. Two rotors for the Red Alliance, two rotors for the Blue Alliance. Two more gears needed for the Blue Alliance in order to start their third rotor. One more gear needed for the Red Alliance. As 56.32 is at the peg. They're gonna try to deliver that gear for the Red Alliance. Here comes 41.89 to the lift peg as well as the ropes are being deployed. 95 to 95 in this tiebreaker match. As we have 51-34, 57-34 at the airship. 41-89 has made their climb. There's a difference right now of 50 points. As 54-82 has made their climb as well. 41-89 has made a climb for the Red Alliance. 195 to 185 is what it's showing coming at the end of the match. We're going to have to see if that climb by 41-89 actually made the difference and moves him forward. Here we go with a final score. We're gonna go into the clouds. This looks like it's gonna be a close one. This determine who moves on to the semi. The Red Alliance moves forward with a score. 195 to 185. That last climb at the last second by 41.89 made the difference in that match for the Red Alliance. Congratulations to both alliances. S4189. And their alliance moves forward into the semifinals to face alliance number three. We got
We have now moved into the semi-final rounds. Yeah, it usually helps when you're playing the semi-finals to have two alliances on the field. We are now in the semifinals. Now that we have two alliances work of robots on the field, we have the one seed against the number four seed. This two will be a three match series. All right, coming over here on the number one seed, we're gonna start it off with team number 5828. Robo Pets. In the middle, their captain team number 4188. Columbus Space Program. This is new. Rounding out the Alliance team number 2974. Walton Robotics. On the blue Alliance, making it to semifinals. They want to go to the finals. It's team number 4459. Leo Tex. Their captain team number 5074. Robo Mustang. And rounding up the Alliance is team number 4193. Midnight Raptors. All right. We are ready to start, it seems like. We have a green field. Just got to make sure that all our personnel, as usual, are ready. Let's get this match underway. Semi-final one. Pilots ready for flight. Drivers behind the line. Match begins in three, two, one, go! Running in, they're off and running in autonomous. This Walton delivers the gear to their airship.